Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I'm excited to present to you the August 2020 free GED math worksheet of the month. So if you've been following along with us, last month we did a free GED math worksheet, and in that, each week we posted a video about the worksheet uh, right here to the YouTube channel. This month, uh, we're going to do a science worksheet. I've been getting a lot of uh, private messages about science and actually a few about social studies as well. Um, so it looks like people are starting to kind of uh, ramp back up um, because some of the testing centers around the country are opening. Um, and also there are some online GED opportunities. Now this is unique because for many, many years, it was very important for a person like me who is sharing GED uh, testing information to make it very clear that you could not take the GED online. But now in this new COVID environment, there are some states that do allow online GED testing, but that'll be released in a new uh, video. But today, I just want to simply say we're going to be covering uh, GED science this month. Um, and this is a, a worksheet that you can go to my website, mygedlive.com. You can download that worksheet and then follow along here all month each week. Uh, Wednesday, sometimes Thursday, <laughs> sometimes Friday if I get behind. But each week I do upload a video doing one of the questions on that worksheet. So this month is August 2020 and we are doing GED science. Join us. All right, here we go with a video on GED science. And so as you know, each month we post a new uh, worksheet at mygedlive.com. And here is uh, at least one of the pages of that worksheet. So what we're going to look at here first is a couple of features about this. So most of you already know it, but if you don't know, let me just tell you that the GED science test is not so much a science test, but it's really a reading skills test using science as a subject. So on the science test, you will see many different kinds of science, you know, chemistry, physics, biology, astronomy, you will see those kinds of topics on the test, but it's really a reading skill test. And so what we have here in this worksheet is what I uh, uh, have come to learn is a, a, is a synthesis question, meaning that you have to synthesize or bring together information from uh, two areas. So here you have some text giving you some data, and then here you have a chart giving you some data. And so let me just um, make the screen a little bit bigger here and get that over here. So one of the things I want to focus on now is just about the chart. And so anytime you you encounter a chart on the GED science test or any other test for that matter, you want to just begin to dissect this thing. So you want to see what the title of it is because that tells you really what all this data is about. So the new tuberculosis cases versus new vaccinations in California, 2010, 2015. So we know that the time period is certain and we know that it's comparing two things TB cases versus uh, vaccinations against TB. And then we come over here to the X and Y axis um, uh, of this chart. So this is the X axis and this is the Y axis. And so what we're really looking at is when, when X does this, Y does this. So when we have 2010, that is giving us the year. And then we go up here and we see the number of cases. And so, and then this little, uh, uh, description here tells us that it's in thousands. So when we see 124, we're talking about 124,000. Then we come over here, there's the legend. So just giving us more data about this chart. So we know we have TB cases in green, and we know we have TB vaccinations in purple. And so just a cursory view of this chart, uh, of this chart as the years go on, the TB vaccinations started here, and then they get up here. And then over here, the green, uh, the TB cases start up here, go a little bit higher, then end up down here. So we're seeing something is happening over time that the vaccinations are increasing and the cases of TB are decreasing. So now let me get that back. Um, chart back small here. the screen. 
So now we're going to come over here and we're going to look at this question here. So below is an excerpt from an article written by Barbara Hen Henriksen, or Heinrichsen, Ph.D., an infectious, infectious disease expert. To be sure, in 2010 and 2011 were alarming years in California. However, the leadership provided by California Director of Public Health, Maya Concepcion, ushered in the most effective public vaccination campaign in recent memory. Looking at the data from 2015, um, though there still is work to do, we are on the right track in addressing TB in California. So this is a quote talking directly about the data that you and I just looked at. So let's go to the question. From the quote and the data, okay, so that's the synthesis question. We talked about that. Um, so let's write that synthesis question. It says, so from the data, what action below was most likely key to Maya Concepcion's success? So A, um, send an email to all Californians urging TB awareness. Well, you know, that's kind of, you know, that might have happened, but is that really um, the most likely the key to her success? So let's put that one to the side for now. And I'm just going to mark it X by that one. We're just going to put that one out. B, initiated campaign requiring TB vaccination. Well, on the chart, we certainly see that TB vaccinations were going up. And, and so, you know, so what I would say is, yes, you know, let's mark that one as a possibility. The circle by that one um, of all K through 12 students in California. Then C, travel at the state speaking at conferences. Well, you know, would that really be the key to success? Could be, but, but really judging by the data we have here, we're really seeing that as vaccinations went up, um, TB cases went down, so we're going to take that one out and then lobby the state legislature, of course. We're going to take that one out. So that leaves us with B, initiated campaign requiring TB vaccinations of all K-12 through students. So you see that this is some science-based uh, content. However, what we really used to get the answer correct were reading skills. And so we looked at this synthesis question, and then we took uh, data uh, from this chart, and then we took information that we read here, and we put those two things together to really know and understand that what really happened was that vaccinations were going up, and then incidences of TB were going down. So, hope this video was helpful. I look forward to catching up again with you next week when we'll post a new video from another question on this GED science worksheet. If you like this kind of video, please like it. Um, if you want to know when the next video is available and ready to watch, hit subscribe. And however you have your notifications set up, you'll get those notifications. Bye for now.